Hi, my name is Jennifer Hancock. I'm a humanist and I watch a lot of Bollywood movies and I find that I, I like to not only review them and, and watch them, but um, one of the reasons I like them is that the storylines are so humanist and as a humanist, I, I do feel that like Indian movies are, are some of the most humanistic movies being made in the world right now and I do watch other world cinema and I will review those occasionally. Now, Queen is a movie by Kangana that stars Kangana Renault. Uh, she's a fabulous actress. This movie made her a star. It's one of the few movies that come out of India that's really um, a feminist movie in addition to being a humanist movie. And it's all her. She, It's her. <laughs> it's her. She's the movie. There is no male co-star with her. It's her. It's all about her journey. Which is really fabulous because, uh, you know, India has the same problem that American movies has, which that is that most of the movies about, are about the guy getting the girl. Got boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back. That's a very common plot line in Indian movies and American movies. Um, this is a movie that's just all her. All right, it's girl meets boy, girl loses boy, girl decides she doesn't need the boy anyways. Fabulous plot line. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the trailer. It does have Indian uh, English subtitles for those of you who are American and are new to Indian movies and, and looking for movies to get yourself into it. This is a fabulous one. So we're going to watch the trailer and then we'll talk about it. She's crying because she was left at the altar. <laughs> Have some. Shut up. I don't believe it. I'm not sure. 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 i Chinese? Punch out. Punch out. I feel like I'm going to London. I'm going to London. Gupta. My father is like Gupta Uncle. Gupta Uncle is cancer. He didn't have a drug, a cigarette, and then he was cancer. He's such a good feel. Okay, so, uh, you know, spoiler, she didn't go back to the guy. So this is a movie where a girl gets dumped on her wedding day and decides to go on her honeymoon anyway, and then she finds herself, right? She she leaves India. She's a very shy girl, um, very proper, does everything right, and then gets left on her wedding day because she's not modern enough. And she goes to Paris and meets up with a woman who kind of helps her kind of stabilize and you know be able to travel and then she she goes elsewhere and, and ends up in a hostel sharing a hostel room with uh, guys <laughs> she's just terrified but then they become her best friends and they 
they all have their own journeys and their own problems and they're all working through whatever their crap is just as she's working through her crap and in the meantime her ex-fiance finds out she's like you know not the shy indian girl he thought she was and he comes looking for her and her friends the guy friends just chase him off um it is a really <laughs> you know um really heartwarming film my girlfriend and I were talking about this the other day when we watched um, that Ideal movie, that Karin Johar's last movie. And, you know, we don't know of any instances where someone, you know, if you break up with someone, there's a reason the, the relationship, there's a reason the relationship didn't work out. And I don't know anybody who went back after a breakup and had it work out for the long term. You know, the, the old problems that were there were still there and they caused problems. So as a woman, I think she made the right choice in this movie. Um, and it's, it's just wonderful to see a woman who is trying to please people and failing um, stop. <laughs> And just work on trying to please herself and, and what kind of growth that entails. And this isn't just for women, right? Men, men have societal pressures put on them too, which is why we all need feminism. Because feminism frees both women and men up to not like have to live with these gender norms that may work for some people, but don't work for the most of, most of us, really. And especially for women. <laughs> like, women are really constrained by gender roles, um in a way that's very harmful to us as human beings. And this is everywhere in the world, right? Um, so it's really wonderful to see a movie where a woman decides to stop pleasing other people and to just please herself and where that journey takes her. And it doesn't take her any place bad. She doesn't, you know, yeah, she drinks and she dances and she parties and she bunks up with four guys, but she's not doing anything immoral throughout this movie and I think that's I th for me the most positive part is that men and women can be together and not be romantic because the reality is we're humans first um, and not every friendship between a guy and a girl is going to end up with romance um, and I thought that was beautifully portrayed in this movie and um, a necessary lesson I think for everybody uh, to come across. So is this a humanist movie? Yes, absolutely, because it's a feminist movie. And if you're not a feminist, I don't know how you can be a humanist, <clears throat> because humanism is pro-equality of opportunity. You know, people should be free to be the person they want to be, whoever that is, and should not, you know, yeah, I understand the cultural norms are there for a reason, but they can be very constrictive and they can be applied in a way that's very, very harmful. So, um, and again, that's not specific to India. That's everywhere. <laughs> that's everywhere for women. There's a reason the Women's March that's coming up um, is a global phenomenon and that the platform is global in nature because all women everywhere, women's rights are human rights. Like, let's never forget that. So is this a good movie? Yes, it's a fabulous movie. It's absolutely delightful. If um, you're new to Indian movies, this is a good first movie to get you into them, especially if you're a woman. Um, you will really, really like this movie. It's a good one.